I've got two helpers with me today. Who's that behind the camera? Abraham. And who's the other guy? Okay. Hello. We got the light on. I don't know how much that helps. But uh, as you can probably guess, we're going to a night rescue. The sun has set. It is in San Diego. This lady called me a lot earlier today, but she tried to get the cat out herself. It's stuck in a palm tree, and it's got a lot of dead leaves on it. So I don't think this is going to be a whole lot of fun for a night cat rescue. Nevertheless, um, we are on our way. Okay, here we are. We are at the cat rescue. It is nighttime, and I heard the cat up in the tree. Let's see if we can find him. It looks like I'm gonna have to trim this tree. And it's a pretty huge tree, check it out. Okay, so we had the crazy dog, and they're fun puppies. Looks like Hezzy's up there petting that one, rubbing his belly. Okay, that's all cool. But what we got here is this huge palm tree. And I saw the cat's eyes right in here somewhere just a minute ago. So I don't know where she's at now. But usually what, there, there we go. There's the cat eyes. So uh, what usually happens when I climb up in the tree and start going after the cat is that um, they keep climbing higher. Hey kitty, how you doing up there? So you can see that cat eye reflecting the light. There's the kitty. Um, but I would be surprised if the cat just stayed there. It's probably gonna climb up higher. So this is a really big tree. Hopefully I don't have to climb all the way up there. Um, I've got my quiet battery chainsaw. So hopefully the cat won't be too freaked out but this is not going to be fun any way you cut it. All right, here I go. Right, so basically I saw him up there. I could see his eye. I could see his eye. Oh my God, I haven't seen him all day. Where is he? No, he's like right here. His eye was looking at me just a minute ago. I can't see it now, but at any rate. Oh, there it is. You see his eye? See his eye? Dog, where? You hear him crying? You yeah. can't see his eye right there. Oh, it's I reflecting my light. It's I reflecting my oh, light. I see him. I see him. Right. So that's him. Oh my so, God. Thomas. There's a chance he'll stay there, but I, I'm expecting he's probably going to keep climbing once I get up there. Oh, wow. um, I'll probably have to trim I this whole so tree. But nevertheless, yeah, thank you, Hezzy. I kind of feel bad for me too. But nevertheless, he's gonna um, I think he'll be okay. You think you can get him? He's a crazy What's dude. going on? Help me! The attack brother? He will, it's been like almost 100 degrees over here, if not hotter today. And uh -huh. he's been in that tree since last night. He's been uh -huh. real lethargic. Like he was cutting and juke trimming all this off and he didn't okay. move. He didn't flinch. Okay. So there's a good chance he might not move. He's super dehydrated. He's been out since last night. Okay. Well, so, hopefully, hopefully he'll just stay right there and I can go up and get him. I hope so. And I have a cat carrier if you want that. Okay. I've got so a... I'm just gonna put him in the backpack. Okay. And then he's a house cat? Yeah. Okay, so it is a he. What's his name again? Tenshi. Tenshi. What's Tenshi mean? It's Japanese for angel. Okay. I actually rescued him, so. Rescued from where? He was he was abandoned. He was a, from birth. He didn't even know how to use a litter box and I brought him in. I've had him for like uh -huh. six years now. Okay. Litter box trained him, house, like. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is if he doesn't jump hopefully he'll just jump out while i'm coming up there but if he doesn't jump i'll put him in a backpack and then we'll take the backpack inside your house and let him go okay all right yeah i'm we'll really worried out. that he's super dehydrated and probably won't move well it's been this is he's the second over, night he's right only spent here. one oh, night in the tree right hold on he's only spent one night in the tree right up there all day this he is the second night like 5 a.m okay right so it's been hot so he's today been but out in the heat up in that tree been one full day okay yeah. at least he's in the shade so um we'll uh we'll get him down 
Because I want the lights on. Don't turn off my car. I want the lights on and I don't I don't want my battery to die. Okay, here we are, Joseph the Cat Wolf. You're about to climb this tree. So this is a nasty tree and the cat's about halfway up, about 15 feet into the frond. And are you filming me? Yes, yes. you are. And so uh hopefully the cat's gonna stay in place. But that's highly doubtful. If uh, he does, his name is Tinchy. If he does, that'll be the first time. Normally they keep climbing higher and higher, which means I'm gonna have to trim this whole tree, which is not gonna be fun. But at any rate, here we go. Okay, here we are up in the palm tree. So uh, I wish I could film this whole thing and see where you can see the cutting but basically i'm surrounded by all these palm leaves and uh you can see everything one of these has all these spikes all over it so that's not very fun so the good thing is this is a male palm tree which means the leaves stick out kind of away from the tree a little bit the bad thing is that the spikes are bigger and sharper than the female ones so although it seems easier because they stick out and let you under the tree easier uh, I usually bleed a little bit more when I trim the males as opposed to the females so uh, we got a long way to go here no sign of the cat right now okay so just when uh, you thought things couldn't get worse I don't know what's going on here it's my light, but just when you thought things couldn't get worse, the chain came off. There we go, you can see the chain has come off the chainsaw. So now I'm gonna have to, they're sending me up a scrunch, and I'm gonna have to put it back on. All right. Okay, so I don't know what's up with that shadow there, but anyway, I just saw the cat, there's the cat. Why, why is that shadow there? I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the cover on my phone. But the cat is right up there. I just saw him. Can you see? I don't know if you can see him or not. But hopefully they'll stay there while I keep cutting. There you are. What's up, Kinchi? Are you ready to come out? You want to get in my bag? You want to get in the backpack here? Hey, I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy. Hey. Yeah. Are you friendly? You seem kind of friendly. Are you ready to get out of the tree? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is hectic, isn't it? Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna try to get you in the bag, okay? All right, let's see if we can do this. Okay, awesome. So we got the cat. The cat's in the bag. Let's see, where are we right there? I got her down the tree. Got her out of the tree. I didn't even have to trim the whole tree. How awesome is that? Oh my goodness, look at how much further it goes. So anyway, she just came right to me. I got up there and she climbed down to me. I had to trim about 10 or 15 feet of stuff. Woo! Say hi, Abe. Hello! Okay, so here we go. Go, come on, let's get out of here, man. Skedaddle. I don't know. Yeah, Hiding that? under the bed, maybe. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take off then. Pack up my tools here. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Awesome. I'm glad. Okay, so Joseph Deskin's here, the cat rescuer in San Diego. Another successful rescue. That was crazy night rescue, and uh, 
<coughs> that tree was loaded with stuff. Fortunately, the cat, um, the cat didn't climb higher in the tree. That's the first time I've had a cat not climb higher in the palm tree. And so I only had to trim like about 10 or 15 feet of stuff. And then the cat saw me and the cat came to me. Actually kind of, I was cutting some leaves and he just jumped right on my lap. Stop and uh, Stop it. why don't you want me to back up? Because the train's coming. Oh, so at any rate, so the cat jumped on my lap while I was cutting stuff. And then uh, I dropped You're my backpack. You're lucky didn't cut the cat. I Your dropped my up. backpack and then, so I just had the bag. Whoa, what is that thing I just barely missed? So I'm trying to back out of this driveway at night. I can't believe I didn't hit that thing. Oh, my mirror just barely touched it. So we got a pool there and it almost hit. It's so hard to see right now. But at any rate, another successful cat rescue. Make sure you like us and, uh, and comment subscribe. and subscribe. And we'll see you at the next cat rescue. Hopefully during the daytime. Nighty night.